Right, hello interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Um, I'm doing a speedy one today. Uh, this is the, um, the Windows version of the keyboard replacement, which is a billion times easier than the Apple version of the keyboard replacement. Um, on uh, the vast majority of laptops, you will have what I call the keyboard strip, which is a strip of plastic along the top of the um, laptop, which gives uh, access to the keyboard um, fittings. Um, now, there's a couple of variations on this. Uh, this is a Toshiba. Toshibas have a very thin strip along the top here, which I'll be removing. Um, most laptops, you have this sort of whole top bit will actually come off. Sometimes it's clipped, sometimes you have to remove a few screws from the back. So usually I will turn the laptop over and just remove any screws that are along that top for a few inches. And that just makes sure that you've got access. Um, occasionally the keyboard is um, also screwed in from underneath which again may be screws along the midsection. They usually have some kind of keyboard uh, icon uh, around near said screws. Um, and lastly, the other variation is occasionally it's clipped in um, with clips that are visible just along the very top between the plastic and the keys and you have to sort of push the clips out of the way with a screwdriver and leave around. Um, basically just have a look at what you've got, look at it carefully and see what's there. Um, and you'll, prob you'll probably be able to figure it out. So on this one, we've got the keyboard strip along the top, and uh, normally these keyboard strips on the Toshibas are not screwed in, but on this one, after having a quick look at it in advance, I believe that this screw underneath is, sort of, is uh, holding it in. So I'm gonna drop that out. Uh, it's worth checking for any other screws underneath the battery or any other obvious ones you can see. If you're having difficulty, to be honest, you can do worse than just to literally take out every screw on the top half of the laptop because the worst is you've just un undone a screw that doesn't need to be undone and you can just put it back in again afterwards so blur. So uh, once again I'm going to get a screwdriver and dig under here. I'm going to brutalise the keyboard because that's being changed anyway. I'm just looking for a place where it starts unclipping. And there we have it. So there it is, that one was screwed in. Right, so with the keyboard strip removed, I've now got the screws holding in the keyboard itself. So we'll drop those out. And then that should just lift up like that. Now it's held in with a ribbon cable. The ribbon cable usually has enough slack on it so you can turn the keyboard over like so and then that will, is a locking connector that lifts up and then comes out and there's our laptop keyboard. This can be found on eBay for not a vast amount of money. Um, if you've only got one or two broken keys it may be more economical to buy separate keys on eBay and refit them yourself but to be honest the keyboards are so cheap that in my opinion it's nicer just to get a brand new keyboard. Sometimes keyboards can cost as little as £10 so uh, that's a no-brainer in my opinion. So here is my replacement keyboard. So I'm going to thread that ribbon cable into the connector, just make sure it's pushed in and then close the locking lever like that. Then thread that into the bottom. And screw it back in. And there we have it, done and done. 